चंदन नमस्कार लगाओ जैसे महाकाल का चंदन लगा नो थैंक यू नो थैंक यू नो 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 थैंक यू एक चीज शेक से लगा दिया धन्यवाद धन्यवाद So this is Ujjain one of the most important spiritual cities of India he is trying to uh put the paint on my uh forehead i'm not sure what he's going to expect or whatever for that so i'm going to avoid uh doing that it is going to happen again for sure there he is trying to convince his family to uh take his services as well and here we go again no thank you no thank you so This is one of the sites of the Kumbha Mela. The Kumbha Mela is the massive Indian spiritual gathering festival in different places around India on different years. It depends on whether you are talking about the Maha Kumbha Mela or one of the uh smaller ones and by small we're still talking a lot of people i will explain more about that in just a second but uh there are four cities where the gathering occurs hello during alternating years no thank you so ujain here and then haridwar which i have been to and prayag previously called allahabad which i have been to and then nasik which is south of here which i have not been to yet so i have never been to the kumbha mela but i have been to a magh mela that was an off year jai magh so one of the smaller gatherings that was in Allahabad as it was called at the time at the confluence of the Ganges Yamuna and Saraswati rivers which is actually a mythical river not a real river the Saraswati but uh an important location where the Ganges and Yamuna rivers come together and so i guess there were around like 1 to 2 million people there so it was kind of perfect to get the experience without the overwhelming crowds of the larger kumbha melas which can be 20 million, 30 million, 40 million people just mind-boggling. And so I went down to the river and I saw sadhus doing their rituals, etc. So I kind of experienced it. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm ready again. But uh, maybe one of these years I will get the chance to experience the uh, real thing. But it is not occurring here now. It will not be here in Ujjain until 2028. So, we are at the most important temple, the Mahakaleshvara temple, and I have no idea how it works here. If I can go inside. Hello, hello. No, no. Or what? So, let's try to figure it out here. I am seeing barefoot people already. I will of course have to uh leave my uh hello. Sandals. Okay. I got to figure out how to get over there. So I guess the entrance is actually back down towards where I was before. Let's uh, take a look at these paintings i guess uh representing shiva it seems like the trident maybe there's more to it so we have whoa interesting uh elephant 
headed being. Not sure if that was Ganesha or something else, but uh, obviously depicting some of the uh, Hindu spiritual stories. All right, so this seems to be the way when in doubt, follow the crowd. So there it is. Let's see how this goes. I'm not 100% committed to actually going inside if it's going to be a long line, crowded situation, which of course is looking very likely. Not really in the mood for uh, being trapped in a crowd and stuck for a long time waiting, so let's investigate. And it is quickly getting more crowded. It looks like you probably have to leave like a backpack. I considered not bringing the backpack at all and then wanted to have a few things. So uh, let's just see what we can see kind of from the outside. So I knew that Ujjain was going to be off the tourist trail. I was curious to see if I might see, hello, any other uh, foreign travelers. So far I have not seen a single other person that clearly seems to be, you know, from outside India. So, Shiva there. Looks like that is the exit. Okay, I am seeing nobody with shoes on. There's, well, okay, a couple people. Nobody has told me to take them off yet, so I guess we'll just see what happens here. So it is quite a temple complex by the looks of it. You can see uh, various buildings there. But I think that I am just going to uh, skip this one. I might have to check the backpack and then I'm not gonna feel comfortable leaving it somewhere. And then just the crowded situation. Let's explore around a little bit further. There was another uh, lane down here to uh, walk down. Also, I wanted to get a better view of the water. There's like a lake out there. Okay, so here we can get a nice view of the lake. Ganesha Temple, okay. That's good to know. Neokant Marg, Nandi Dwar. So, various things to see down here. Hello. So Ujjain is on the Shipra River, which is other side of those buildings there, and it is part of the uh, plan for today to get over there and see the scene along the river there. The main plan for today was just to walk around and see this uh, little known city to uh, foreign travelers. Definitely a very powerful ambiance, especially with the uh, oming music there, but also just all the people clearly here for uh, a spiritual pilgrimage. So the Sri Mahakaleshwar temple, that is the main one, and then 
Nandi Dwar, I hadn't heard about that over there. So maybe uh, let's take a look at that. Some statues of... A being that uh, seems to have the head of Hanuman at the center. And then I'm not sure of the other ones, but uh, you know, the Hindu pantheon is just so interesting. So many different gods. So right after filming that last clip, I was told by a security guard that filming is not allowed inside the complex at all. So I guess I probably wouldn't have been able to uh, film inside the temple anyways. So I wanted to give uh, something to this guy. Namaste. So, I am now going to walk over to the Shipra River. This should be a really interesting walk. I will go... No. I'm not sure what these ladies are asking for, but... Uh, I think money. They want me to buy them uh, food. But so uh, please, No, thank you. No, thank you. There is a lot going on around here and getting a lot of attention as a foreigner a lot of stares and uh people making comments as i walk by i can hear them saying foreigner and stuff like that which is what i expected coming here so i wanted to uh explain a little more about ujain including why there are the four different locations of the Kumbh Mela, what the significance of those particular places is. So I have the good old Wikipedia page here. Ujjain is a city in Ujjain district of the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. It is the fifth largest city in Madhya Pradesh by population. It is one of the Hindu pilgrimage centers of Saptapuri, famous for the Kumbha Mela. Hello. Okay, so where are we? Not exactly sure, but I know that I am getting closer to my hotel. The city has been one of the most prominent trade and gentlemen, political centers of the Indian subcontinent from the time of the ancient Maha Janapadas. So long, long ago, thousands of years ago then Ujjain was an important city. Okay. And then... Hello! Country. USA! Hello! Kidna, kidna! 100, okay, okay. Now it's a temple. Oh, it's it's uh it's for the temple. One hundred. It's not just eating. Yes, yes. Oh, it's offering for the temple. I see. Okay. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should do it, huh? Only, only just yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. One second. One second. Hi. You have change, change, change. Oh yeah. Hello man. Your name, your name. 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 Your name,
Anand? Anand. Anand, Anand, Anand okay. What is your name? Gabriel, Gabriel. 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 Yes. Gabriel, Gabriel. Nice. Yes. I got gotcha. you. On the video. Nice to meet you. I'm going. Okay. Hello, man. Okay, so uh, I just bought what is, uh, I believe this would be considered prasad for uh, an offering for the temple. 200 rupees, so like two dollars for this and the other one. I was just thinking of it as some sweets for eating later. So I'm not sure of the uh, sacrilegiousness of just eating this as a snack, but I'm not going inside the temple, so I'm not sure what else to do with it, but just thought that I would, you know, buy something from somebody and uh, I'll probably give it a try later. Okay. I think right through here, I will get back to where I recognize, hello, where I am. So I guess some of the uh, different places to see in the area, I think, because Maheshwar? 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 Yeah. So, I'm thinking of going there. There are a number of really amazing uh, places to visit around here, which is my plan for the coming week or so. Okay. I need to get through to the other side. Gotta break on through to the other side. Break on through, break on through. Will this work? Hello. I think it must eventually. Definitely some interesting exploring around here and interactions with very curious people. Okay, I think this should be back to the main street where my hotel is and yes, all right. From my hotel, it was only a 10 minute walk to the Shipra River, and I think there is an important uh, gat there, as it is called, the uh, areas along the water in India, whether it's a river or a lake or a step well or whatever, the uh, steps going down so that you can access the water is called a the Ghats, and that is where both ordinary and spiritual things take place. I think this is where I ate last night, yes. Really good food, great place there. I had a masala dosa and palak paneer, hello. Hello. So it should be quite a scene there by the river as well. Okay, we are back on track. Hotel right up ahead. Right there, Hotel Hori Palace. As you saw at the beginning, Hello. Hello. Hiya. Nice room, fast Wi-Fi, good price. It is relatively quiet back there depending on who is who is hello, USA, USA. Thank you the world. Depending on the uh, people talking because it is a common occurrence in India for 
people to be up early talking very loudly and that occurred this morning woke me up but uh, so it goes <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Guys, did you actually like this? Sorry, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I got distracted. Before and uh, didn't explain why there are four different cities where the Kumbh Mela occurs. So, according to Puranic legend, so the Puranas are important Hindu texts, Ujjain, along with Haridwar, Nashik, and Prayag, is one of four sites where drops of Amrita, the elixir of immortality, accidentally spilled over from a Kumbha, Kumbha meaning pitcher, while being carried by the celestial bird Garuda during the Samudra Maratana or the churning of the ocean of milk. So, uh... That is the case with, uh, many of the important Indian spiritual cities is there is a legend from one of the important spiritual writings where an event occurred and therefore it has significance and uh, Hindus go on pilgrimage there. Okay. I'm not entirely certain where we're going here, but uh, it seems like the right general direction. I have it on my map and my phone is working. So let's just uh, double check here. We should be very, very close to the Shipra River. I think it is going to be just right down this, uh, yes, right down here. And then the Ramgat Marg. So, Probably, this will be a whole scene along here, but something is right there. And there is the river. Wow, it is quite a scene. Unfortunately, there is a smell here that is seriously one of the worst smells ever. Okay, not quite so bad now. Not sure where that's coming from, but uh, really, really unpleasant. Other than that, I really like this uh, area. It quiets down. I'm going to assume that in the evenings there is probably an arti ceremony here, like occurs in Haridwar, Rishikesh, Varanasi, many places around India where there's a spiritual ceremony with uh... Hello! Hello! How are you? Very beautiful! Amazing! Uh, it's like sorry? Sorry? No, thank you. That color red is just intense. So, probably in the evenings, then uh, it gets really crowded here, and there will be more music. And here you can see remnants of it, most likely the flowers. Yeah, the little uh, leaf bowls. They'll put bowls like that filled with flowers and 
little candies and then candles and then float them down the river and people will get in the water, bathe as a spiritual uh, ritual. Here you have a Shiva Lingam there representing Shiva and Shakti. Nandi the bull, Shiva rides on Nandi. Here also Shiva Lingam, swastika symbol. Of course a uh, ancient and positive symbol. It is a like good luck symbol you could say, the swastika. So whatever was showing up on the map as being further up there, that might have been a little bit arbitrary just uh, indicating this general area. But uh, we'll walk up there, see what else we find. Interesting uh, variety of different temples. A white one there, and then that maybe could be like an ashram. And then dark red here. Again, Nandi the bull. So this is an important uh, Shiva pilgrimage destination, as well as Vishnu. So you have the Trimurti of Hinduism, which is the three principal gods, Brahma being the creator of the universe, Vishnu the sustainer, and Shiva the destroyer. And then there are incarnations of the gods. That is, you have the gods in the heavens, so to speak, anyways, beyond the uh, physical world. And then Krishna was considered to be a human being, the incarnation of Vishnu. So Vishnu the god basically came down and uh, incarnated as Krishna, and so Krishna represents Vishnu. I'm not sure who the incarnations of like Shiva or Brahma might be, but there are others I know of Vishnu, at least. I think Ram is also Vishnu. And so they're a totally different uh, temple. Golden. Very fascinating. I mean, this is like really quintessential India. A similar scene as you find in many places, Varanasi feels very uh, similar. But for me, it is especially interesting because it is totally new and unknown to me previously. So uh, it's the classic Indian scene, but different, different location. Hello again. Hello. Thank you. Namaste. Uh, say again? Huh? Where are you, sir? I'm from America. America? Yes, USA. And you? I'm from here? Yeah, from here. Ujjain? Yes, from here, Ujjain. Great. My first time here. First time here? Yes. Wow, sir. One picture, please. Wait. Your name? My name is Rahul. Rahul? Yes. Gabriel. 
Thank you. Cool to meet you. Your name? Krishna. Krishna. Jai Krishna. One century, one century, one century. Okay, okay. Wow, the uh, temple matches her. Okay, okay. Which uh, language? What's the main language here? Is it Hindi? Hindi. It is Hindi. Okay, okay, okay. America is always English. Yes, always English. Always English. The uh, poco español. A little Spanish, Spanish speaking also in, in uh, America. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you guys. Okay, done you Mala? Oh, you're selling malas. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. It's okay. Thanks. I see, I see. No, thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so what is this? Hello, sir. How are you? America. California, San Francisco. You're from Udane? From Udane or other city? Which, which city? Bhopal. Bhopal. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. I was there on a train. One time I went through on a train oh, yes. through Bhopal. Good. Nice to meet you. Bye, bye. Okay, take care. A lot of uh, interesting murals over on the other side. So let's go take a look at that. So here we have that golden building, which. Hello. Yes, hello again. You too. I guess it's not a temple, but an arch. Going into... It must be that other building that we saw along the river. Maybe an ashram or something. Okay, this is definitely kind of... Uh, shady area. Okay, this side seems to be a little uh, more of a regular walking area. The other side was just kind of more desolate. And we have some, uh, hello, murals here as well, but not as nice as the other ones on the other side. What a scene. Hello.
It is certainly a shame about the environmental reality. So much garbage there under the water. Okay, I think that I'm just going to uh, get back over there and then walk back around to my hotel a different way, see what else we uh, come across. Hello. So notice no English on the signs. Let's see if we see it somewhere. Well, there, Agrawal Bojnalaya, but that is just the uh, Hindi name written in English script. Okay, here we go. Coaching classes. Jane restaurant and cafe. But uh, definitely seeing less English here than in other parts of India. So, I'm just walking randomly. Now, trying to make it a loop back to my hotel. And along the way, I'm looking for something. I like to have juice first thing in the morning when I wake up. And there is one in particular. Let's see if they happen to have it. I just discovered it on this trip and it's amazing. So this is not what I was looking for. They didn't have the one that I wanted, so I got these instead. So. These are like uh, basically just flavored milk, strawberry and two badam, I think, uh, which means almond. These are quite tasty as well. The one that I was hoping to find is guava juice. Now, of course, I've had guava juice before, but uh, there's one brand in particular here that is just amazing. So I may or may not have had that previously in the past maybe even the exact same brand but this time i really sort of realized that it's one of the most delicious drinks ever and so i was trying to find it again sometime a while ago and they didn't have it but they had another brand of the guava juice and so i tried that one and it was terrible totally different so there's something uh about their recipe that makes it especially delicious. So maybe I'll find it later, but otherwise at least I got something to uh, drink in the morning other than just water. Okay, well this uh, should be heading in the general direction back to my hotel. And, by the way, when it comes to those drinks, you want to check the expiration date because uh, sometimes they're like six months old and way past the expiry date. Those ones were uh, fairly new. A lot of different types of things for sale along this street. And some nice smells here. They got the incense going. Okay, and uh, is that a mosque? Yeah, Arabic on it. I don't see the uh, crescent moon yet. But you can see the uh, speakers up there. 
Must be a mosque. We have some English there. Sundry Herbal, Beauty Academy and Parlor. Facial, hair cutting, pedicure, bridal makeup, party makeup, manicure, straightening, pumping. All right, well. Not exactly sure. But uh, probably, whoa, down uh, this way. If I can get across the street. Another temple or something up ahead that is totally different. Let's take a look at this and then uh, I think that is going to wrap things up. This looks like a palace. Whoa, this is a whole interesting scene. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I can uh, actually easily go inside. Leave the uh, shoes or the sandals. Take off the sunglasses. Gopal Mandir. Well, that was a nice way to end the video. Hello. Let's walk through this market. And then, hello, namaste. Hello. And then it will be time for me to figure out where my hotel is. Hello.
walk down and see this statue here. Oh, my camera is at 1%. I have other batteries, but uh, going to call it done here. But uh, what an interesting city.